Previously, when we added a machine to the domain, we configured the IP address settings manually. However, it's a lot more sensible to use dynamic host configuration protocol to this for us. So what we want to do is add this feature to our system. So from the dashboard, we'll add a role in feature. And we will find DHCP server. And finally, that will install. And there we have it, it's successfully installed. If we now go to our administrative tools, we'll find DHCP. And if we open up the branches for IP6, you'll notice it's disabled at the moment. What we need to do is, first of all, create a new scope. This is a pool of IP addresses to be allocated. So give it a sensible name. And you give it the first IP address in the pool. and then the last address of the pool. So we allocate 100 numbers. Our subnet must have been customized, so we can enter that feature there as well. We don't want to add any exclusions, and we don't want to add a delay. Delays are useful if you've got more than one DHCP server. Least duration, you decide the average length of time a user will use the machines for. So in my case, I will try three hours. And you want to configure the additional options. Most important is the default gateway. I'm going to use this machine as a gateway later. So I'll add that to the system. And you want to find your DNS server. You'll notice it's already added my DNS server in, but if it hadn't, I could put in the name of the server, resolve it, and then add the IP address in. We're not using WINS in this case. And yes, you want to activate the scope. And there's our scope there. We then need to authorize the server so right click the name of your server and authorize and that will switch the dhcp option on within a few seconds there we go it's running one of the tricks you can do inside the scope is add a reservation a reservation allows a machine to get the same IP address every time it logs in. We can create a new reservation, give it a name, give it the suitable IP address you want it to receive, and then you would type its MAC address in. And you could give it a description if you feel like it. And there's the reservation sitting, waiting to go. If I now log a Windows 10 machine in, we will be able to see the lease appearing on that screen. So here's a Windows 10 machine. We'll go back to Network and Sharing Center, change the adapter settings as before. And we'll put it back to automatic IP addressing and automatic DHCP address. We 
we'll check to see if it's picked up an IP address. It has. And if we go across to our server, refresh the screen, there's the machine picked up a DHCP address. If you want to, of course, you could right click and convert that to a reservation rather than doing it manually.